This is a cattle egret, one of Manningham's most successful colonising birds. They're known as a cosmopolitan bird. They're found in many different countries throughout the world. This is a success story. These are the winners of the bird world. They weren't introduced to Australia. They came here on their own volition, chasing mankind's agriculture. Cattle egrets have only been here in Australia since the 1940s. They are one of the most successful colonising native bird species in the world. They're one of the smallest egret species we find here in Australia. Agriculture has opened up more habitats for this very successful bird species. Cattle egrets love flooded agricultural lands around the city of Manningham. Did you know that a gathering of cattle egrets is called a rampage? That is cool. Cattle egrets in breeding season change their plumage. They turn a brilliant orange, almost a bright red. And the bright colours attract a potential mate. Look at their beak for grabbing and skewering insect prey. Look at their long legs for walking through the muddy wetlands of Manningham. They're like a pair of stilts. Look at their beady eyes, always on the lookout for their insect prey. Cattle egrets are opportunistic hunters. They'll eat frogs, fish, earthworms and insects. They've even been known to eat baby birds. Farmers love cattle egrets because they pick up all the pesky flies on their livestock. Scientists have studied the feeding behaviour of cattle egrets. It is thought that cattle egrets get 50% more prey by hanging out around our livestock. The livestock disturb their food and they get an easy meal. They save two thirds of energy by hunting this way. It's called commensal behaviour. They rely on another animal for their support. Incredible. Cattle egrets are directly affected from stormwater pollution. So be careful where you put your waste and especially pick up your plastic litter. The prey of cattle egrets is highly susceptible to human being pollution. Stormwater drains can wash into our creeks and streams and into our fragile wetlands. It's so important that we keep our waterways clean. Polystyrene cups remain in our ecosystems for over 600 years. Birds like the cattle egret can see polystyrene and cigarette butts as potential food. Once ingested, these animals will certainly die. And birds like the cattle egret are directly affected by fishing line, which is discarded and left behind. If they get caught in fishing line, they get trapped and they will surely die a horrible death. Remember, let's look after cattle egrets in the city of Manningham. They do such a fantastic job for us. They eat up all of the bugs.